Also, someone else is awake. What is this on your nose? Oh my god, excuse the hair. I'm so puffy. <gasps> no. Let's get to miracle water. And we're done. Let's get ready. Hmm. Don't forget to stay hydrated. My Innisfree makeup base. Luminizing primer. Put it on the high points of my cheeks. Since we are going out and I feel like doing a little bit more to my face, I'm gonna use a foundation stick. I'm just gonna draw like little strokes. This one is Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick in Porcelain Zero. I'm also using a Bobbi Brown brush. When I was living in California, Every time I wore like face makeup, I usually went for something that was a little bit darker than my skin because I wanted a, a tan. But now that I'm in Korea, the beauty trend is like white face, white porcelain skin. Now I just usually go with my skin color and then I use other products to make it a little bit more brighter. My skin is a type where it's really hard to get tan for some reason, so I purposely never wore some look, which is so bad. I put the highlighter down here. It helps me cancel out the dark circles because I have really bad dark circles because I don't really get that much sleep. And I really love this concealer. I use it all the time. I just find it to work the best for me, especially under the eye and for blemishes. Growing up, I always had a pimple on my chin and I didn't really think too much of it. But once I moved out here, I realized that the chin acne was getting a lot worse. And I was having like five pimples on my chin all at one time. So I finally went and got checked up. And it turns out I have this thing called PCOS. And you can look it up for more details because I don't want to say anything wrong. Ever since that, I cut out all dairy products and that really helped get rid of the pimples. Dramatically. If you are someone who deals with hormonal acne, consider maybe canceling out dairy from your diet. I really love this eyebrow pencil, especially if you want that natural eyebrow look. I like eyebrows where it doesn't look like I filled it in. This one. Shurmura Hard Formula, and I am in the color Seal Brown. You see how quick it was? Because the tip is so wide. And this, honestly, you can skip this part but i find that it helps kind of fill in the extra spots you might have missed while you're shading it in and then i have very oily eyelids so i have to always make sure i use a eyeshadow primer with eyeshadow i like to just do something very simple very fast with very minimal effort this one is a new eyeshadow that i got that I got from Etude House and it's in the color Roasted Coffee Cherry. Brown with red undertones and I'm not even like being too careful with it. The yeah, eye like this. Just a little bit. Just take a fluffy brush and just blend. Then take a gold eyeliner or eyeshadow stick and just gonna put it on the bottom waterline like this. And then I blend it in. Eyeliner and then tie line the upper water line. Curl your lashes and then coat. I'm gonna coat it with one of my favorite mascaras. This is a what is this? This is Kiss Me Long Curl Mascara. And if you love waterproof mascara, you're going to love this because this does not run whatsoever. Fit. And this is honestly my favorite blush. Smile. So pretty. Um, highlighter on my nose. I love putting highlighter.
highlighter right above my eyebrows and then right below my eye right here this is bobby brown number 22 in sandwich pink it's pretty nude pink color It's so pretty. Mmm. I love it. Let me pull down my hair so we get the whole vibe going. It has like this nice curl to it. That's what I like to do. I like to first blow dry my hair so that it's all dry. And then put it in a bun and it has like this really nice natural wave. Again, this is Bobbi Brown number 22. Sandwich pink. This is a swatch, and this is what it looks like on. So pretty. Thanks for getting ready with me, and I hope you enjoy this video. Cheers! <laughs> <Woo! laughs>